bring Nazanin Zagari Ratcliffe home for Christmas. That's the mission facing Boris Johnson. The UK Foreign Secretary will head to Tehran this weekend in an effort to free the British Iranian mother amid fears that her jail sentence will be increased by another five years after comments he made. The 38-year-old has been held behind bars in the Iranian capital for nearly two years on charges of spying. She's due back in court on Sunday. Her husband spoke to Euronews late last month. It's really not a good sign that A, she's being taken back to court on December the 10th, and B, there's this sort of very aggressive propaganda campaign that's been put out in the media. She's been very fragile, and I've been down to the doctors quite a lot it, again, uh, was, was trying to see a psychiatrist just to be able to talk through, and that had been banned for a few weeks. So, I mean, I have, I have deep worries about her mental health. Concerns about the dual national psychological well-being were prompted after the foreign secretary said she'd been training journalists in Iran. He acknowledged the gap after calls for his resignation, later backing up her story that she'd simply been on holiday to visit family. I think it's really important that the, A, the government refuted that which they've done and that B, that, that the Foreign Secretary gets to Iran as soon as possible. Johnson now faces the tricky diplomatic task of not only raising her plight but also putting UK and Iranian relations on a better footing. For now, he's played down any expectation of an immediate breakthrough in her case. I apologise for the distress and anguish that has been caused to Mrs. Zagari Radcliffe and her family, and our priority now, our priority now is to do everything we can to get her out of Iran on humanitarian grounds. Mrs. Zagari Ratcliffe was there on holiday. Uh, she was not there in any, in any professional capacity. In so far as people got a different impression of what I was saying, uh, the FAC... As Iranian state television broadcasts new allegations against a jailed British-Iranian woman, her husband says he's attempting to go there urgently for a new court date that's been set. Richard Ratcliffe told Euronews the TV report was shocking and he needs to go there with a the UK foreign secretary as quickly as possible. It's really not a good sign that A, she's being taken back to court on December the 10th and B, there's this sort of very aggressive propaganda campaign that's been put out in the media. I think it's really important that the, A, the government refuted that which they've done and that B, that, that the Foreign Secretary gets to Iran as soon as possible. I've asked to go with him and, and again on Friday I chased up both with the Foreign Office and with the Iranian Embassy for a visa so that I can be there in time for that trial. A weekend rally was held in London calling for Nazanin's release amid serious concerns about her health and mental state, made worse by hearing the new allegations. <laughs> she was deeply traumatised by it. Um, it was had to go down to visit the prison clinic and had to be given um, sedatives through injections to calm her down on, on the night of it. Um, and certainly, I, I mean, I'm, I'm appalled that 
this could be happening. She's been very fragile and I've been down to the doctors quite a lot it, again uh, was, was trying to see a psychiatrist just to be able to talk through and that had been banned for a few weeks. So, I mean, I have, I have deep worries about her mental health.